in this briefing, you've talked about the President's desire to, quote, fully eliminate any threat around the globe to U.S. interests. You've talked about the United States wanting to re-engage and be a leader once again and reasserting its leadership on the world stage. Some of the President's supporters are going to hear in those comments um, maybe uh, a, a bad omen about the President changing his mind and becoming more interventionist. Not saying he wasn't going to be interventionist because he talked about ISIS a fair amount, but what would you tell them about, uh-oh, is he going to embark now on nation building? Is he going to deepen American involvement in conflicts in, in Syria and Afghanistan and elsewhere? No, I, I appreciate that. I think that uh, his priorities remain the same, but he's going to do what he can to make sure that he protects the country and our people um, and threats that directly affect the United States. I just want to get back to Olivier's point. I mean, why shouldn't President Trump supporters, if he does decide to add more troops to Afghanistan, see that as running counter to what he campaigned on for so long, the notion of America first, the notion of, you know, the fact that we're too involved in foreign entanglements abroad. He campaigned on that. And the way he's governed, I think, from what we've seen in Syria and from what he's considering in Afghanistan, seems to send a very different message. I just want to be clear. The, the one thing that there is a difference between um, Afghanistan proper and our, our effort to defeat ISIS. And that's one thing that he was also very clear on in the campaign that, um, and as president, that he is going to do everything he can uh, to fight radical Islamic terrorism, to root out and destroy ISIS. Um, in some cases, if ISIS, where he has to go into Afghanistan, that's, they may be synonymous at that point, uh, but they are not always the same, uh, right? You can be in, the goal is always going to be defeat ISIS, which is something that he's been very clear on uh, with the American people from the get-go. Um, but that all being said, let's be clear, um, with the exception of the piece that we announced today uh, that the President authorized yesterday, no decision has been made. So let's, let's not get ahead of um, what, what that ultimate policy will be. On Afghanistan, because I think it's important what the President is thinking about, you've been implying that ISIS is a part of the Afghanistan equation. And I'm, I'm, what I want to ask you about is as the President looks in Afghanistan, as a team presents him options, are those options primarily about whatever ISIS component is in Afghanistan or the larger, more malignant issue in Afghanistan, which has always been the Taliban? Right. So there's, as you know, multiple missions going on to confront those multiple things. The U.S. currently has about 8,400 forces in Afghanistan doing a counterterrorism operation, which is Operation Freedom Sentinel, and then the NATO mission, which is to train, advise, and assist under Operation Resolute Support. The main objective of us being in Afghanistan uh, from being used as a safe haven for terrorists to attack the United States and our allies, that is the main objective. Uh, we remain very focused on the defeat of al-Qaeda, its associates, as well as the defeat of ISIS-K, uh, which is the a ISIS uh, affiliate there in Afghanistan. But that's, that's, that is simply put what the mission is going okay. forward. And when you suggest that it's a Washington question to ask if 15,000 can do a better job than 100,000, are you suggesting that the ideas the President is being presented with are so original and no, so no, no. All out of the box that 15,000 troops can achieve what 100,000 deployed very shortly after 9-11 could not achieve? No, I'm just suggesting that I think fully refining the mission, what we're seeking to achieve, and that goes back to what Mara was saying, what is the exact objective, how far away are we doing it, what's the time level that we have to have, can we grow the Afghan force, is there a, I mean, there are several things that go into a strategy, and I think the idea of just saying, can we throw X number at it, is not the way that the President is looking at these options. He's trying to figure out, walk back from, from, a, from a goal of, defe uh, of, of eliminating this threat and then tell me how we get there, as opposed to tell me how many troops we need and then what you're going to do with them. I think that there has been in the past you know, some instances of just figuring, okay, if we add more troops, that'll help solve the problem. The President's asking to re-look re at the entire strategy um, and then figure out what, what the footprint is in a, in a variety of ways to get there. That, that is a different look at what the strategy is versus what it had been. And 